These are the holy men whom the Lord chose in his own perfect love. To them he gave eternal glory. Dear brothers and sisters, we offer this march for David Russo. May his soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, we are celebrating today the apostles Simon and George. May they intercede for us so that we can also be true witnesses of the gospel of Jesus in the world today. And may in a special way St. George, who is the patron of those who are in a hopeless situation, may he intercede for our world today and especially for all those who are losing hope in this moment. And in order for us to be worthy of offering this Holy Eucharist to God our Father, let us open our heart to his mercy and ask for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, graciously grant through the intercession of St. Simon and George that the church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you are also being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Their message goes out through all the world. Their the message, message goes, goes out, out through all, all the world. world. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, to day, and night to night imparts knowledge. Their message, message goes, goes out, out to all, all the world. earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out to all the earth. company of apostles praises you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went up the mountain to pray and he spent the night in prayer to God. When day came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he called Peter, and his brother Andrew. James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, St. Paul, in the first reading, reminds us that we are citizens of heaven. And this citizenship, we will not only we will enjoy it in the future, in the world to come, but we are enjoying it here and now within the church because the church is the temple the body of Christ himself but founded with the apostles as the foundation of this body of Christ and the apostles went everywhere around the world to bear witness to the love of God in all of us through Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son. In the gospel, it's so amazing. 
or so blessed because before even Jesus to appoint those apostles, he spent he spent all the night praying to God his Father. So Jesus appointed those disciples by the grace of God the Father. He's the Father who drew them to Jesus. And after praying, Jesus, he appointed them. And I told you, like, this gospel is so brief, but all the names of the apostles are there. Jesus appointed them by name. And they stayed with them. He taught them how to carry out his mission of salvation when he will be back to God the Father. And that was the decide the apostles did. They went around the world to bear witness to the gospel. And that gospel became to us. That is why today we are here as children of God thanks to the work of the apostles after Jesus himself. Sometimes, dear brothers and sisters, we can see those apostles like naive people. The way they accepted to follow Jesus, an unknown man who came to them asking them, follow me, and they left behind all their duty, all their family members even, and following Jesus to be trained so that they can carry out the mission of salvation. I myself say, I don't know if I live in that time, if I will follow that unknown man, Jesus. I don't know if I will have that kind of trust to follow Jesus. But dear brothers and sisters, what Jesus did to the apostles, he continued to do that every day to us as a new disciples. The way that he chose his disciples, calling them by name, is the same way Jesus did to you and me and to all of us as a new baptized, new disciples. One day I was baptizing a kid of my friend. So the rites of baptism, we usually start by asking the parents, what name did you give to your child? So my friend was surprised for me to ask that question because they knew, they knew that I know the name of the kid. Why should I ask that question again? That is in the context of baptism, dear brothers and sisters. It is not the priest or the deacon he is calling us by name, but Jesus himself, exactly what he did with the apostles, that's what he did for you and me. Calling us by name the day of our baptism. And sending us to be his witness today, dear brothers and sisters. The apostles was wit were witness of Jesus in that time. But today, you and me, Jesus called us by name the day of our baptism so that we can be his witness in today's world. And this is a very challenging time in modern time. 
a very challenging moment that the world needs the true witness of the gospel. Like the apostles at that time, in their time, after Jesus has been killed, they should have that courage to go and bear witness so that the good news can arrive to us. That's what they did. There was only 12 of them. But we today, the Holy Spirit has been given to us. We are many in this world to continue to bear witness to the gospel. And this is, dear brothers and sisters, a good time to be a Christian. This is a good time to be a priest. This is a good time to serve the church, to bear witness that our Lord Jesus is alive, that the Holy Spirit dwells in us, and the same Holy Spirit guide us to bring that good news to those who are still in need of Jesus, in need of the Holy Spirit, in need of God mercy. May that same Holy Spirit, dear brothers and sisters, grant us the grace we need, the strength we need to be those, those true witnesses of the gospel in this modern world. Dear brothers and sisters, let's now present our petition to God, our Father, for ourselves, for the church, and for the entire world. For our leaders in the church, that like Jesus, they may spend time in silent prayer before every major decision in their ministry. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our elected officials, that they may be true to the natural law, especially to its demands of life and justice for all, so that we may deserve the blessings of God's peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, fellow citizens of the Holy Ones, that built upon the foundation of the apostles and their successors, we may become a pleasing dwelling place for God in the Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are For vocations to the apostolic life, that new disciples may be called to proclaim the good news in our own day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we are For all those whose lives are made difficult by sickness, poverty, loneliness, or abuse, that our loving prayer for them may bring them relief. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved departed ones, that through the power of this holy sacrifice, their purification may be quickly accomplished, and they may, they may be taken into the household of God in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our Father, hear the petition we present to you. In the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord, and may his mother, our mother Mary, intercede for the church today as we pray. Hey, Mary, Mary full, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Lord, Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now, now and in the hour of our death. death. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, may my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles, Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> to you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these all holy and unblemished sacrifices which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant us peace 
to guide, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servants, Francis our Pope and Sean our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants now living, and all gathered here whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them, we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and for those who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, and all your saints as we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of your service, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve these offerings in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, 
offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servants, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offerings of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that this gift be born by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servant, David, who has gone before us, marked with the sign of faith, and rests in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, Informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, thus by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us wave that sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I will say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Prayer for Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having received this sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and George may keep us ever in your love. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Amen. Bow down for the blessing. May God, who has granted you to stand firm on apostolic foundation, graciously bless you through the glorious marriage of the holy apostles Simon and John. Amen. And may he who endowed you with the teaching and example of the apostles, make you under their protection witnesses to the truth before all. So that through the intercession of the apostles, you may inherit the eternal homeland, for by their teaching you possess firmness of faith. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying God by your life. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you. Thank you.